Auto Borders is a pre-designed selection of borders for your quilt. Before I get started with this tool, I like to go to the Borders tab and widen my border a bit. Then back to the Design tab, I'll click the Auto Borders option on the ribbon. This will display a palette of border options. Use the drop-down menu to see all the style choices. You can also use your keyboard down arrow to scroll through all the choices. Just be sure to click in the space first before using your arrow keys. Notice the scroll bar at the bottom of the palette. This tells us that there are more options than the eight borders we are currently viewing. Use the scroll bar to find additional borders. When you find a border you'd like to try, simply select it in the palette, then click on the border in the quilt. You can try out border after border by selecting a border in the palette, then clicking on the border in the quilt to replace the existing border. Each time you try out a border, those border blocks are automatically added to your sketchbook. So the next time you click the Set Blocks tool, you'll see the border blocks there. You might want to try some of those border blocks in your quilt layout as well. You can use other tools like Symmetry or Randomize to see what surprises you get, like this. One more tip. The borders that are called single block were all drawn as one long pieced block. There are 70 borders in this style, color coded. They are great to use when you want your border to print as one long border, perhaps for foundation piecing. Here you have one long border in units for foundation piecing.